What would I do if I had to start my business all over from today? This is the video I'm gonna share with you. 11 steps on what I will actually do if I have to completely restart my business from today to achieving whatever results that I want, okay? So please take notes, and this is gonna be one of the best videos that you'll ever watch, because this is 2021 as I'm recording this, and these are the 11 steps that I will follow if I'm brand new in the digital coaching business. Hey, that's Siddharth Rajchik here. Thank you for tuning in and please hit that like button. Subscribe to this video if you're watching this on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever. Just give me that like and love symbol before we move on to the 11 steps. So the question that I got asked by some of my students were this. Sid, if you had to start from the beginning, what would you actually do? If imagine you just had to close down your entire business and start once again from the scratch, what would you do? So here's what I would do. First step is I would get more congruent with deciding my niche niche congruence is the first step a lot of people just choose the niche based on how profitable the niche is or just because they have some knowledge they just go and pick a niche but they don't choose a niche based on what problem that they want to solve and whether that is in congruence it's in congruence with who they are as a person in fact inside my course niche study blueprints i have like a six step system to help people find their niche in the most congruent way and people who have not been able to find their niche for years and years together in one day they've been able to find the niche because of the approach that I actually give. So how do you find a niche which is congruent with you? Is one is looking at what you're good at, two is looking at the potential in the market, three is looking at uh, what kind of results that you can actually uh, generate for people, what kind of problems you can solve, and what results you've already generated for others. So all these different things, when it integrates, then you can get more congruent with your niche. Okay, so you're, you need to have passion. It has, it has to solve a problem. It should be focused on a particular persona. Uh, there has to be potential in the market and you get paid for it. So that is a 5P validation process as well. Okay, so first thing I would do is I would uh, spend time in going micro niche before I go to the next step. The second step what I would do is once I have cleared that thing in my head about my niche, then I would start to build products with depth. Because there are many people doing similar things in today's industry. Like, like when 2018, when I got started, everybody, uh, there were very few people who are doing digital coaching and webinars and all that stuff. And after COVID, everything accelerated. A lot of people are doing it. So what you're going to see right now in the marketplace is while everybody's doing similar things, the substandard and the quality will start to be more visible to the market. So if I were to start today, I would be spending more energy, time and effort in building great quality, world-class products world-class products in terms of depth of knowledge, clarity in communication, clarity information. It is not too much of information, but just enough information that can help people move and get results fast, okay? The third step what I would do is then I would set up all the systems. And systems are the most important part of your business. I'm talking about my website. I will set up my email marketing system. I'll set up my webinar system, my learning management system. There are around six to seven systems, my tracking system, my advertisement systems and all of that stuff. So this is the part of the game and it's important. And if I was starting today, yes, I will not be cheap on my journey towards my greatness. Okay. So when it comes to investing in tools and systems and stuff, I will not think twice. Most people, they take that one step back thinking that everything is for free. Okay. They don't want to spend any money and they want to just say, okay, I want to make a lot of money, but I'm not willing to invest any money. Now, that's like stupidity, right? It's foolishness. You can't grow a plant or a tree without putting the seed. And in this case, all these tools and systems are the seed to your business. And you cannot run the business without these systems. Okay, the systems are very important. So I would build up all my systems. Step number four is then I would start building digital assets. You know, I'll start uh, posting videos, I'll start getting on Facebook Live, I'll start recording podcasts, and I'll start to really connecting, I'll start to connect with an au my audience on a more deeper level without even having my products launched, okay? So I would start to slowly grow my influence on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Step number five is as I'm doing this, I would then grow my community. I would bring all these people from these different places into a Facebook group. Okay, so I'll bring them into Facebook group, I'll call it a name and I'll start to build the Facebook group from scratch and I'll start to uh, invite more people through my content into this group where I'm not going to sell them anything, I'm just going to answer their questions, I'm going to be running polls, I'm going to be engaging with people, I'm going to be inviting people, I'm going to be uh, meaningfully conversing, these, conversing with all of the people who are coming into this uh, Facebook group. Okay, so I will do this and I'll do this for three months. Okay, so three months, uh, what I'll do it, uh, let's say, I'm starting from scratch. I think I can easily touch around 500 to 1000 people in this group in three months. And only after the third month, I will actually start selling. Okay. So what I will do is uh, step number six, I'll start nurturing this audience. Like what I mentioned earlier, I will start engaging with them, direct messaging them, asking them what are their problems, asking them how I can solve the problems, run a lot of polls, 
and step number seven what i will do is i'll also i'll perform a lot more one-to-ones some of you do not know this i've done more than 400 one-to-ones in my first six months of launching my business and you know i did not have any freedom even though i was promoting freedom business model i did not have freedom i was doing uh, five six one-to-ones per day six to seven hours a day doing one-to-ones and my brain would get fried by the end of the day but i loved it i loved the process i wanted to go through that process so if i were to start from today I, if anyone would would come into that community i would offer them free 30 minute consultations to get to understand them better to understand the pulse of my market and once i'm observing all the patterns of what problems that they're facing i will start to put that into my curriculum what i have to actually create into courses later on okay step number eight then i'll start to work towards mastering webinar sales because of understanding my market because of all those one-to-ones that i would be doing i will know exactly what are their pain points and i will frame my entire webinar presentation to solve those pain points i'll frame all my courses to solve those pain points i'll develop formulas and strategies to solve those pain points and to solve those problems step number nine is uh, then i'll start selling through the webinars and as i'm selling my products I will start to get more and more customer feedback. So if somebody has bought my product, like let's say somebody buys my product in today's webinar, and as they're going through my products, I'll you know I'll ask them questions on Google form and ask them, okay, what else do you want? What is keeping you stuck? What else do you want to learn from me? Which is not covered in this course. I will get more customer feedback. Now, customer feedback is more valuable than just general feedback that people would give you. Because if somebody has invested their money and they've come into your world, and if you're getting their feedback, you know that's the best thing that you can ever get as a knowledge giver like right now i have like a document which has more than 3000 uh, you know questions that people have asked me and i've addressed many of those questions those 3000 questions have become the food for me because i can look at those patterns and find out what exactly is keeping my market stuck and i can give it back to them in the, in the most powerful way after doing my research okay so step number 9 is i would do i would get more customer feedback step number 10 is based on the customer feedback i would then get back to improving my products i'm not going to stop at just keeping the first version of the products the faster I can get to the second and third version of the products, it's going to be better. Like right now, I think I've had at least two or three versions of my products inside my community. So if you're somebody who's bought my product, say a year back, you come back now and see it's completely different. Though it's the same product. Why? Because I've understood what the market really needs and I've improved it. And I've also evolved in this game on this journey. So as I'm evolving in this journey, I would like to bring that evolution of myself back into my products. So it never ends. Okay. You have to keep improving your products at least once in a year, once in two years. Okay. And finally, the, the 11th step of the process is, is then to scale up, scale up the budgets. Okay. So at this point, once I've done three months of uh, influence building, three months of selling, and once I've, I have some numbers and some data points where I can actually go back and see what's exactly happening, then I want to start increasing my ad budgets. Like if I'm spending one lakh rupees per month on ads, I'll double it to two lakhs. Suppose I've done a month where I've done three lakh rupees in a month, I would put two lakh rupees back into advertising itself. So I can make it into six lakhs next month. If I make six lakhs, then I'll put five lakhs back into ads. So I'll, I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, what do you say, uh, aggressive in terms of uh, reinvesting it back into the business without really bothering too much about buying things for myself and stuff like that. That's exactly how I grew my business in the first six months to one year. Okay. And I continue to do that even now. Okay. So these are the 11 steps. If I were to start from scratch, I'll recap the 11 steps. Step number one is niche congruence. Step number two is I'll build products with more depth. Step number three is I will set up all my systems on my own and then I'll outsource it to it later, to others later. Step number four is I'll start to build more digital assets. Step number five is I'll start to grow my community. Step number six, I'll start to nurture this audience in my Facebook group and other places, getting feedback from them. Step number seven, I'll start to perform a lot of one-to-ones, free one-to-ones to understand my target market. Step number eight, I will start to master webinar sales based on the pain points that I've understood from my target market. Step number nine is I will get customer feedback. People have bought my courses. Step number 10 is I will improve my products based on the feedback. And number 11, I'll scale up my budgets and take it to the next level. So these, these are the 11 steps. And if you're somebody who's brand new, you're really not a part of my community, you wanna be a part of this, this, uh, this community which I have called the Internet Lifestyle Hub, uh, just go and watch my 30 minutes video. It's an automated webinar. You can go and check it out on sids.co slash formula. Watch that video till the end, take notes and take action invest in my product, invest in my course and come into the system because this is what I actually teach. These 11 steps is what I teach inside my coaching system. Now, if you're somebody who's already a part of my community, that's awesome. Share your comments below on what new stuff you learned by watching this video and how you are going to be improving yourself to scale up and move to the next level. Okay. 
thank you so much once again subscribe to my youtube channel if you're watching this on facebook just tag somebody you know friend or someone just share this video and i would love to serve you more in future videos so stay notified stay connected and all the best bye bye